Hi and welcome to the lab. In this video, I'm going to troubleshoot this uh, ARN7 radio compass. Uh, in the last video, we have seen that not uh, all the functions are working, as well as uh, not all the ranges are, are, are working. So, uh, the problem that I have seen is that the last two functions, antenna and loop, is not receiving. I'm just having very huge noise in the headphones and the receiver itself is not receiving anything. On the other hand, on compass function, I, I'm able to receive uh, very low level signals uh, generated by a signal generator. So the receiver is sensible, uh, but I can only receive frequencies in the upper three bands, but not in the lower one. So, uh, I'm still uh, not sure where I should uh, go ahead first. If uh, first of all I should have uh, should get a look on the range, or if in the antenna loop function. Uh, by the way, uh, both of those problems I'm not sure if they are related to uh, connection problems or. Uh, receiver uh, faults. So I think uh, just because uh, I believe that uh, the range switches should be uh, performed only with DC volts, I think that I will try to uh, troubleshoot this uh, with the inverter switched off. So this will make me work in a more silent environment. And uh, after that, uh, going ahead, I will see the amp and loop uh, function if uh, there is any problem related to the connection or if there is some problem in the receiver. So uh, the first step is to check connections by ohmmeter to uh, junction box and control box and the receiver. So. I will see, I will grab the schematic and see which uh, of the uh, wires should have uh, continuity or DC volts when, I'm, uh, when I switch onto the 100 to 200 range uh, position of the range switch. So I will grab everything and I'll be back as soon as uh, all the setup is ready. As we can see in the schematic, let me zoom in a bit onto the range switch, which is right this one. We have this four position switch and each number, uh, it is uh, the, as the number increase, the range increase the same. So the common, it is connected to V, which is 21, which in turn is ground, right over here. So if I put one lead on the ground and on uh, the other one on pin number one, which is uh, the relative pin of the first range that is not working, which it goes to U and 24, and in turn, on the receiver plug, 24 is on the letter uh, S. So when I switch to pin num to position number one, I should have continuity with ground. So let me set up the uh, test and see what it does. Okay, I have my S uh, pin here with the ohmmeter and if I switch to one the ohmmeter should sound and it does and yeah clearly we have continuity so there is no connection problem and the problem should lies on the receiver so let me move the uh, the test setup 
onto the receiver. Okay, I have um, uh, switched on the power supply, the DC power supply. I have removed the control wire from the inverter. And as expected, if I switch the bent switch and the motor, which actually I have discovered that the relay that is chattering is actually the what is called as motor is rotating but again the range number one doesn't work so let's see if i can figure out what it is this uh, uh, functioning in the receiver as we can see we have the rotating shaft here and when i change the range it rotates through the uh, motor let's call it like that so i suppose that there is uh, the range uh, switch the internal range switch as indicated in the manual here this is the range switch i think that is uh, inside this uh, uh, this big tank here so i will remove this and see if i can find it okay just for curiosity look at this uh, very uh, pretty way to expose the adjustment points just uh, by sliding uh, the cover plate it will expose all the uh, adjustment points well if we look through this opening we clearly see that uh, somebody has been in in this uh, uh, motor section and all the wirings has been removed so I think that uh, there is uh, there was a problem also in the past and somebody had tried to to fix it and moreover uh, the motor it's very hard to to turn so i think that uh, this unit here has some problem also uh, i'm seeing screws so perhaps there is some uh, wrong connection here or weak connection let's see Ah, and by the way, the removal of the upper plate uh, does not uh, expose anything. Well, I think uh, I now know why has been removed this uh, capacitor, the screw of these capacitors. With this capacitor, since uh, the wiring for the uh, range switches are passing through this hole, so perhaps they have checked the wiring continuity and by the way looking more in in depth all the wiring seems that have stimulated the appetite of some mouse look at that i didn't note it before look at that all this wiring yeah it has been damaged by by some rat over there also yeah hopefully there is no short circuit also here oh my goodness look at that oh it's broken look at that okay this uh, actually may be related to the other functions we don't know oh also this one there is only a tiny wire that is uh, still attached from B plus should be fixed and addressed very carefully here. The wiring repair clearly does not fix the range switch problem. And I'm going to check the continuity of each uh, rail of the uh, switch itself 
and and see if uh, there is any mistake uh, during the reattaching of the wire so i suspect that uh, somebody has uh, removed the entire uh, switching unit here and perhaps uh, i will need to to do the same so to remove the uh, switching system uh, hopefully not let's see well i eventually have decided to remove the band change mechanism and for two reasons first of all because i want to clean these wirings and also because i'm not sure that everything was wired correctly and the continuity check with the plug uh, gives me a weird uh, response so i uh, yes, ended up with this uh, removal. There is some mechanical damage here, but nothing serious. Um, it's a very uh, smart system here. Uh, all this uh, mechanism and each uh, tank here, it's uh, driven by this uh, long shaft. And this is the gear that allow the band change through the uh, relay here. However, I am not sure that all the switches inside here are aligned. And I need to figure out uh, how uh, it should be. Since uh, it also could be that uh, since the slot on this uh, shaft are two, I may have some switch inside over there that hole uh, perhaps in uh, one of these uh, uh, tanks that is in at 180 degrees so that will be a challenge to understand since uh, everything is sealed and to open in uh, to open all those it's quite difficult so hopefully i will have the chance to check by the bottom with continuity. So let's go ahead with the check of the switch inside here for continuity of the contacts that are very dirty and double check of the wirings. I didn't find anything wrong here. So it, the contacts are nice and they exactly match uh, the schematic here with the connection so nothing wrong here just need some lubrication and put back in the receiver by the way i still suspect that something wrong here in the uh, alignment of the switches and could be either the connection of those wires that uh, i'm going to clean and uh, solder back on on their places and then i will check i took several pictures so i can uh, make the comparison if uh, there is any difference between how it was before and how after the uh, exactly match of the schematic so let's go ahead with the reassembly and see how can proceed with the uh, alignment of the internal switches inside those tanks well i eventually i found uh, my problem with the range number one i clearly have uh, wrongly inserted one plug one pin here in the connector and it's laid out look at that and clearly cannot make contact contact so Let's try to fix it. Well, clearly the fixing of the plug gave the result that we expected. So it's now working on all four bands. Well, at least uh, it rotates on all four bands. So it's time to go back to the functions. So I will power on the inverter and try to here some signal. Okay, the receiver now can receive on all the four bands. 
and here the result this is the result of the wiring cleaning everything is reassembled and so that part is fixed by the way i still have the problem with the functions that are not working so i need to move to the schematic and what I have noted is that uh, in the antenna and loop function, the volume control doesn't work at all. So I suspect that there is another connection problem or some kind of uh, wrong. But in order to have a, a, a more comfortable way to uh, listening to, to this uh, receiver, I have applied this homemade uh, 600 ohm uh, speaker through this jack and what I have noted is that the hum noise is incredibly high. So what I have done, I have simply jumped over the uh, filter capacitor because the noise was uh, actually 400 Hz noise tone. So it's uh, exactly the frequency, the power supply, supply frequency. So what I've done, I've jumped over these uh, two capacitors over the input filter capacitor. And the noise will be incredibly high because of the inverter, but I'm able now to receive uh, radio stations. So let me switch on and uh, make you hear. Well, I changed completely the setup since uh, I've moved the inverter in the other room, uh, but again, it will be very noisy. Uh, so I'm going to power it up. So again, be aware that it will be very loud. Let's give them a bit of time to warm it up. Let me move this a bit up. Okay, so as we can see, we have static noise over there. So I should receive some radio station here. Let me move on and and we have static also on end, so I'm receiving through the antenna. So as we can see, we are receiving. So it's a uh, it's fixed and uh, clearly turning on compass the compass will rotate until it will find the position and this is actually what it does so it's repaired the capacitor is a uh, three sections capacitor I'm checking the leakage with the capacitor checker and at 100 volts it's already leaking. No way to uh, see the magic eye open. So second section dead, even on 50 volt, completely dead. And I was hearing the internal discharge. So bad capacitor. Well, unfortunately, I don't have all the needed capacitor to restuff the uh, original one. I just have the 50 microfarad, 63 volt, actually it's a 47. Uh, these are 68 instead of 33, so it's too high and too big and I can't use it. This is, these are the closest that I have. So I think I need to place an order and uh, the complete restuff 
will be done in the next video. And by the way, meanwhile, I have received two important pieces. The re uh, resistor replacement for the inverter, the one that I have repaired, that is a drop-in replacement. And I also have received the TEE adapter, which is a very rare piece of equipment for this uh, uh, radio compass, which allow to split uh, to two control uh, box the tuning of the receiver itself. So, uh, yes, I think uh, I will stop this video right now and as soon as I will receive the uh, replacement capacitors, I will restuff this, uh, this one, the original one, and make a final test. And uh, if whenever in the future we'll be able to find another tuning cord and another mounting base for the control box, I will be back and show you the whole, uh, the whole unit altogether. I also have to reproduce the PL108 plug, which is almost impossible to find another one. So thank you very much for watching and see you very soon. I have uh, several and um, very interesting projects that are coming uh, beyond the, those that I already have started. So uh, stay tuned. I will be back.